six mouth-watering dishes took center stage as chefs of half a dozen world leaders converged on Tel Aviv to cook for peace. The chefs, including from the White House, Kremlin, and Elysee Palace, explain their plate of the day. It's uh, basically uh, Jerusalem artichoke puree with uh, roasted root vegetables, with a little lemon and garlic, and a uh, julienne of uh, black truffles. I make the soup borscht, but that I said before, I change a little the recette. I make the same of creme soup uh, without meat, of course, and it, for that we can put a little uh, quenelle of uh, cream. These chefs are part of the club Des Chefs Des Chefs, an elite gastronomical club created by Gilles Brigard, with only some 30 chefs who cook for world leaders. We decided to come here just to organize this peace dinner because I think it's very, as I said, it's very important. Gastronomy is a way, you know, to put all people together. And what uh, we saw too, you know, the fact that uh, in the kitchen they will work with a team which uh, Israeli and Palestinian chef, I think, was the symbol was very important. Shalom Kadosh is one of Israel's leading chefs, and he says he came up with the idea when he was at the Kremlin at his first chef de chefs function. We were there last July, seven months. They are here and cooking very important uh, uh, dinner for the Israeli and Palestinian, Pal for Paris Center, helping the Israeli and Palestinian, and uh, it makes me very happy. Ironically, these chefs came to cook with Israeli and Palestinian chefs, but the Palestinians chose to keep a low profile. We invite uh, a Palestinian to join us to prepare this dinner. In, our, in the kitchen, we have Palestinians. We're doing this every day. In, in my kitchen, I have more than 50% of the employees are Palestinian. So we work together, not from today. When I told this to my colleagues, they say, wow, it's interesting. It's very good for me, very important, to cook in the kitchen with Palestinian and Israeli. But for me, it's the same. We speak the same language, the kitchen. It's not every day that heads of state give their permission for their chefs to take off. The White House found itself without two cooks, since President Obama's chief chef broke her arm, and her sous chef, Tommy Kerpredit, came when was fascinated by the flavors here. Yesterday we actually went to the market, and uh, there are so many wonderful vegetables that I've, I've ever seen. And uh, actually I used most of the vegetables from um, Israel. Whereas in Monaco, Turns out the prince can cook for himself. Sometimes the prince can cook and also the, the princess. When I'm here in Israel, I will try to bring with me spices and uh, food from here because it's, we are not like uh, chefs in, uh, in restaurants. It all happens in the kitchen. And behind me are some of the world's leading chefs who have come together from Germany, France, Monaco, Russia, and the United States to cook for peace. Chef Shalom Kadosh has brought them here in order to show them Israel and to bring them together with Israeli and Palestinian chefs. And what do you ask the chef of a head of state? What was their most memorable dinner? A few hours before state dinner, they come and ask me, there is any garlic and onion in the, in, in, in the, the dinner, in the meal? I say, yes, of course. And they say, no, if you want the, the guests to eat, you have to change the menu. And I have to change everything so that uh, the president and guests can eat. So now, as I understand, they're changing ideas. Every chef called the other and see what he liked, what he didn't like. Jerusalem artichoke, German apple strudel, and Mediterranean mullet were the plates of peace for the day. I think the food has, uh, has uh, improved a lot since the last uh, years because my first visit in Israel was 30 years ago and I could uh, see there is a huge, huge uh, progress you know, in gastronomy. I know there is a lot of very good young chefs in Israel. Uh, I think they, they deal with Mediterranean cuisine, they, they have very good products and uh, it's for me it's really one of the best countries now in the world for gastronomy. From Tel Aviv, this is Felice Fritzen reporting for the Media Line.